Okay, this video today is a short video uh, just explaining how you might use uh, a graph board to plot coordinates, draw a graph, maybe draw some shapes accurately. Okay, so we'll start with the equipment. We've got a graph board, which is homemade. It's basically made of two sheets of sort of um, notice board material taped together with some duct tape. Uh, the grid on here is a 1.5 centimeter grid uh, created onto swell paper. You might find other grids are useful. It depends. It all depends on the student that you're working with. Some prefer slightly smaller grids. Some prefer slightly larger. It uh, can also be used if the student's got uh, functional vision as well. Okay. Um, so we'll take a look at the contents of what I call a pin box. So we've got lots of these sorts of pins, oops, which are called barrel pins. Oh, lots of those, those are for plotting the coordinates. We've got a cube, which is quite useful if your fingers get sore, you can lean on the cube and push the pins into your board. Uh, we've got this pin, which is the origin pin. Okay, it's got a hexagonal head, just to uh, identify it from the others. Um, we've also got various elastic bands, okay, various lengths, longer ones and some shorter ones all mixed up as you can see. Okay, so we'll start by placing the origin pin, that's the one with the hexag hexagonal head, in the bottom left corner. There it is. Okay, so that's the standard origin as if you're going to plot a graph. Um, some students like it if you create the X and Y axes for them. Especially when they're first sort of learning this type of stuff, if they've not met it before. So that's the X axis going across, and that's the Y axis going up. Notice there are no numbers written on this sheet. Um, so they've got multi-purpose uh, graph boards really, uh, so we don't put numbers on them. Okay, so the x-axis is across the bottom, y-axis is up the side. If you'd like to plot the coordinate, let's say 4, 5, you count across 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and pins go on crosses. That's the position 4, 5. From my experience, some students actually find these bands get in the way, uh, and they find it quite difficult to use them, so I generally don't um, put them in place. I'll leave the students just to count as normal. Okay. Um, so at this point you could plot, use it to do coordinates, use it to draw shapes. Okay, a little rectangle there. Place a band around it, and you've got a rectangle. I also say to students, it's not actually a shape until you put a, an elastic band around it. Without the elastic band, it's just four coordinates on a grid. I say so quite important that also if they come to examinations as well, we encourage the students to make sure they uh, actually place bands around the shapes. Okay, so if you want uh, coordinates in all four quadrants, <coughs> we often place the graph board at the centre of the paper. It should give you sort of seven or eight squares each way. Uh, again, some students like the axes marked on with a rubber band, but many prefer not to because it just gets in the way. Okay, and then you can plot coordinates in all four quadrants. 3, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 2, 5, and minus 2, minus 5. There you go. And you can make it turn that into a shape very quickly. Okay, thanks very much for looking. That is how you can use a graph board, just very simply.